I'm talking games here. I'm playing Bmenju Drive. So, as you know, for those of you who, uh, who watched my previous video, I did say I was going to play a game that was not free. And I am telling the truth. This is not free. This is a Steam Greenlight game, and it's about $20, 25 maybe 30 Who knows? The price could have changed since I bought this game, you know, considering how much time has gone by, and how much stuff they added. Already on version 5. But as you can see, this is an alpha game, and it is early access. <gasps> yeah! Now then, this game has its own website and form, so you can add in mods. I'm not going to be using any of the mods, except for maybe one to showcase something that I really like about this game. So, um, yeah. I'm going to start off with the main map on there. And by the way, if you don't want to buy this game, because you know I'm going to say, you should check it out. They have a tech demo on their website, beamng, beamng.com, dot net, meh, 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 hold up, I'm gonna let you admire the truck real quick, but, yeah, beamng.com, yeah, excuse me, back to the actual thing at hand, I am in fact playing this game, at about 60 frames a second. And I'm not trying to brag or anything, but this game requires quite a beefy computer. And it's realistic, by the way, as you can tell by the reflections I just enabled. Now I'm going to turn that off for frame rate purposes of me playing this game. So, yeah. Now then, the main, like, the main objective of this game is to drive a car do whatever you want with it once this car stops working spawn it in again and do it again and as you can see they have full sounds yeah that's right full sounds they have slow motion which is, in fact, a really nice, awesome you could option. Awesome. Really nice, awesome. Really nice option. It goes all the way to 100 times slow motion. So, um, yeah. Lights are functional, in fact, as you can see. That was not supposed to happen. I was not paying attention. And that is why you should always look where you're driving. This car will still work. Thank God. But, um, anyways. I'm gonna put this on real automatic, by the way. Oh! Yeah, the modes. You can change the mode of what you're driving this vehicle on. And I think I made the vehicle stuck. I can't clutch drop. Yeah, that's not gonna work. But so, yeah, you have quite a bit of control over what you're doing. You could pick it up. Whee! And drop it. And do a nice little suspension test. And possibly even break off a wheel, which I was not planning on doing. So, yeah. But they've made this game so realistic, and it's crashing. There's been people who've actually compared it with real life crash testing and they have a whole bunch of stuff you can use and yes the cannon works uh, <laughs> so yeah actually all this stuff is actual things that you can hit especially the wall and to tell you the truth I'm a Spawn in the what? Oops. Um. Yeah, let me just. Yo. 
car. Work with me, hold up. Let me just... That's not the button! I have my fingers on the wrong button. Don't you hear when that happens? Eh! Get out my truck! Oh, get out my truck door! Oops. Uh... Uh, hold up. There we go. So yeah, I, you can control multiple vehicles, by the way. And there, and it's not a full game, as I said, because in its alpha stages. But um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever actually played this game on a full 60 frames a second and maintained those 60 frames, like I have right now. Which is actually kind of, like, nice. I did it again. Hold up. Hold up. Man. Right here. F7. Ta-da! So, um... Yeah, I'm not sure it's just the full effect of like, is how like, realistic they made this game. Yeah. They made it quite realistic. Physics is all real and everything. So yeah, you have quite a choice. Now then. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you the newest vehicle they added in because I think it's pretty unique. And beware, I do get a lag drop. I am aware of it. I'm not stupid. So yeah. And it has, wait for it, a functioning GPS. Now on this map, it's not working, and my frame dropped to about half of what it usually is mainly because that GPS is active now whether they'll fix the lag drop on the next update I am not sure but it's kind of annoying anytime I want to use this vehicle I gotta deal with this lag But, I'm pulling up with it for a reason. Show you guys. But, wait. Once I hit slow-mo. 60! So, yeah. And that's quite an impact. Like, you wouldn't expect that to be survivable. And it's probably not! Oh yeah, the dashboard. I forgot that glitch is like that. And you would have a door frame in your head that... <laughs> like... Oh, I'm inside of the headrest. That's fun! But, um... There are things in this game you would not expect. And... I really want to show you everything and that's what I'm gonna do just about everything you can do with this game I'm not gonna show you every vehicle but I'm gonna show you pretty much the gist of these things so um yeah I'm gonna switch to a less laggy vehicle and also my favorite vehicle which is this one because I like it and it's yellow not really I don't really like the yellow but it's a truck I like trucks and those fog lights on the top are actually functional and yes I am drifting an off-road truck get used to it 
Don't be a baby about it. So, yeah. But, you know. To tell you the truth. There is a lot of things you can do. Literally. A lot. So, pretty much. I'm gonna shut up and give you an example of all the sounds. They don't. Well, they are constantly adding in sounds, actually. So, like, sounds for, like, engine and stuff. They're tuning those up. So, like, different vehicles could have different engine sounds. But, like I said, they're not really done with this game. So, I'm gonna shut up now. Let y'all listen to a few things. And there you go, that's a pretty nice example of what it sounds like, just the game itself. I know that was quite some time, and probably a few of you are like, THIS IS BORING, and skipped ahead. For those of you who stuck with me, CONGRATULATIONS, YOU HAVE PATIENCE, and I like that about you. Oh yeah. Those are the sounds of the game. Oh yeah, did I mention that they have sounds for the water now? You probably couldn't hear it because I wasn't probably like going fast enough. You gotta hit the water pretty hard to do it. Get a sound for it. But it sounds like a splashing noise now. But yeah, all lights are functional actually. They have these lights, signals. So yeah, you get a uh, hazard lights. You know, lights you would expect. Headlights, fog lights. You know. But the awesome part is, you get like all like the actual things. So. I deflate my tires. I should get a tire deflation warning. 
or either that's just not on this vehicle. This is a actually, and they are actually like these vehicles. They do try and stay true to the era that they put them in. So this truck is a 1994 to nine. So like a 1998, 1994, you would expect a tire pressure gauge on there and a signal. But then you get this car, truly modern, all the way. And it's quite possibly the fastest vehicle on here. And it's... Like, modern. And I like it. And the gear shifter does move. You put it in park, it goes to park. And, by the way, that parking brake button, like, right here, doesn't move, which I'm very sad about. I'm pretty sure they're thinking of adding on the uh, GPS option to this vehicle. Yeah, you get ESC. I did something. I'm pulling massively. I damaged my suspension, didn't I? Nope, I pulled my wheel. But yeah, this is actually the fastest vehicle on here, and I'm getting lag recently from speeding up. And they probably will fix it on the next update. It's something that I would expect they would know about and fix, you know. And they do get, you actually do get regular updates, but like sometimes it may depend on what they're adding. So this update took probably like, took about two months to do to come up with so um yeah this update did take two months yeah it did but um you know, this is actually a really good, like, game for those car lovers, you like simulations. You know, those kinds of things. And this game does a really good job of, like, demonstrating everything. So yeah, and as I said, they have full controller support. If you have a racing wheel, you could hook it up, you know, <clears throat> but it has to be like Windows compatible. And like, they even finally added in compatibility for I think PlayStation 4 controllers as well. And they actually have an app for it that you can use your phone as a controller. Which I think is honestly a really nice feature. I missed the wall. I gotta come back for it. Oops. But it's really fun. <coughs> I wanna try and hit that wall at like a really high speed and see if I can make it all the way through and I have a pull because I hit something I don't know what I hit so now I gotta use slow motion okay so apparently speed's not a determining factor of whether I'm gonna get through this wall or not oh well but um yeah, this is... This is BeamNG, everyone! You guys are mess around with cars! So I'm gonna just reload this map so I don't have that brick wall. Or... I could go to another map. Now then, this map is not made by Beam. It is made by a... 
Okay, that's not his name. But it's made by a forum member. You do have to log in to use the forums. Because, you know, they have to have some sort of way to know you bought the game. So you just don't go around downloading their stuff and... What's the point? Why do you even have it? If you don't have, like... If you... Unless you bought a crack. Unless you got a crack. But you need to have it registered through Steam to be sure that you bought it. So, um, yeah, this is what makes this game very secure, actually. So, um, yeah, and, well, I'm gonna go to something like this. To this one. Excuse me, I gotta get some water. I'm getting thirsty. Oh, why are you all dirty? Shut up! Okay. <laughs> um. But yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to the. Oh, you could change the gravity. I didn't say that. I should have brought it up earlier. So I'm gonna put it to negative Earth. And as you can see. I don't really like using this camera. <laughs> One, it moves around a lot. I have no idea how fast I'm going. So I'm gonna hit J, break all break groups. I'm gonna go back and set it to zero gravity. And then I'm gonna unpause it. Voila! You see the parts and the amount of detail and I can't see anything below me hold up sun okay okay earth 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 okay 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 <laughs> that was not supposed to happen but yeah Oh, and by the way, this is the cruise control. So, click set, and it goes. It'll keep it there. I don't have to move it. I gotta stay driving. And, uh... I could even hit the gas and it'll accelerate through the, and then it'll just go, and slowly like rub down and it doesn't hit the brakes, which is disappointing for me. But once you hit the brakes, though, it deactivates. Kind of like what you would expect with a real, um, thing. Now then, they haven't added explosions, which I really want them to do. But yeah. I'm gonna show you just how much, like, things they have, though, so you can, like, know exactly what's happening. You have AI control, you can see just, like, how the brakes work, compasses, info, you know, airspeed, in case you have a mod that has a, that's a plane, you know, they have quite a bit of things, you know. And then they have wind. Yes, you can control the wind. You are God. So you could quite literally set it like that. Hit zero. Set it to be exactly opposite of the direction you're going. Hit the brakes and voila. Or you could be like me and just be a total jerk to the car and just. Which, I, which, in my opinion, is a lot more fun. So, um, yeah, Beam and G Drive, everybody. It's a fairly fun game. And this game does crash, like I said, because, well, things do not go how it likes to go. I'm gonna go to a place that I know for sure won't have lag once I get far enough from all the lights. So I can show you all the details 
I was stuck in the ground. So right now, I am running fully at 60. And I'm going to turn on all my settings as high as I can possibly make them go. So dynamic reflection is on, but you can't really tell unless you go look at the mirrors. And you are looking at the tunnels in those mirrors, by the way. So, yeah. You got all these options, which is fine with me. I, I like these options. Yeah. And my frame rate actually did drop from 60. It went actually to 40, actually. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and that's pretty much what this is. Dynamic reflection, it's really realistic, as you can see. And I like that. I like that about this game. But, wait. In the near future, I can tell. There are people being like, This isn't a game! It's just a simulator! Shut up, man. You can play it as a game. Wanna know why? They have scenarios! So you can play it just like a game. I'm gonna show you. And I know it says campaigns right here, but they don't have them because it says coming soon. And the ad comp content just leads to the website so you could download mods. So yeah, they do have scenarios. And I have no idea how long I've been recording actually. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, I'm gonna turn down my settings actually. So I don't have to worry about all the lag after I start up one of these scenarios. So, um, yeah. So, to the scenarios! And these are actually made really well. I'm gonna show you an example of how the AI actually kind of works. It's a little bit dumb, but at the same time, if you treat it right, it'll be nice to you. Or you could just completely be mean to it. Just saying. Ignore me. I'm eating the crackers I mentioned in my last video. Speaking of my last video. Hmm. Is it done uploading? Yes, it is. Yes. Anyways, if you want a, ch a channel that can actually get you like up to pace with this, and I pull I will put a link in the description for him. He does really good videos about the game, the mods, the updates, the maps, everything. So I, so it'll get you into like a fuller depth of the game and make you appreciate the game a little bit more. Cause there's some fun stuff about this game. You know. But um Um, I just went blank. But, um, he will, like, help you understand this game a little bit better. Um, I recommend you go check out YBR. Like, the word, like, one word using three words. Y, B, and R. Crap. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I'm gonna lose him. I have no idea where this guy is at. Oh, there he is. By the way, the AI has different modes. It has flee, it has random, and it just has a, um, and it has a follow option. Right now, it's on 
flee or random. So, um, yeah. Why won't my light come on? My light's not coming on. Wait, is he slowing down? Is he, is he slow? Oh, no, oh, he hit the brakes because there's a turn there. Okay. There's birds. Was I the only one that heard that bird there? Okay, I'm coming for it. I'm coming for it. Ah! Get in the ditch. Okay, not me. I don't want to get in the ditch. I don't want to be in the ditch. Oh no, I'm stuck. We're both stuck. Yay! See, I was trying to be like, really like, copy about this, but... You know, whatever. I'm gonna try that again. I can tell you just how fat, and it'll show you just how easily you can take out the AI. Like, the AI is pretty easy to deal with. Honestly, it really is. I was just being really careful. Because my frame rate's really low. And, like, you can play this if you have a regular computer. You just have to put your settings low. And you will run about 15, 30, um, frames, depending. GET OVER THERE! But, uh, yeah. Wait, he's not stopped! Get him! It's not over yet. Chase is not over. I know it says it's over, but it's not over yet. He's he's still going. I hate this! I need an off-road vehicle! <laughs> gotcha! Yeah. You're under arrest. Stop the vehicle right now. You're under arrest. But, um... I like this. I really do. And I've got, uh, special ones. Like... Shut up. Like this one. Your truck will fall apart on you. I'ma demonstrate that. It is a... Port container race? I've never heard of that one. That one must be new. But, um, yeah. It all depends on how you drive. I think, it, like, your truck falls apart faster if you drive slower. So, yeah, this is. This is the rig. It's not the fastest, but I enjoy it the most, and I can't see. <laughs> I took it too fast. But yeah, this is what I mean. By... This game is special. <laughs> it has special things in store. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna show you one I play all the time. Destroy the Moonhawk. And it actually has a damage sensor. Which was added in, in version 4 for the scenarios. So you can make special, even more special scenarios. Before they just had uh, checkpoints and blah blah blah. I'm gonna try to deliver truck takedown. That one looks interesting, but nah, 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 that sounds too hard. You got that tiny little patrol car. By the way, I might say that's a special. The um, custom configuration for the Moonhawk. 
Which means it is much faster. You're not going anywhere. By the way, I have to like beat this thing up, otherwise. Like it won't stop. It's like I have to beat this thing up. I I'm stuck. Not anymore. Ta-da. But uh yeah. So, um, this has been BeamNG Drive, guys. Yo, stop! Stop, man. I can't control him. I can't control him. Uh, 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 I don't want to hear that. I could probably go into free cam and just go away until the sound disappears, but I'm not going to do that. So, um... Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot one major thing. You can can change out the parts in this vehicle. So just about everything here, and these do extend. That's what the pluses are here, and blah blah blah. You can change a lot. See, I could go to a vehicle where you have the option to change literally everything. Which is the Hiroji Sunburst Rally Edition. And, um, the tuning section is wonderful. It's a giant mumbo jumbo of orange. But don't worry, it's actually self explanatory. So, yeah, you got all this stuff See, so you can control the brakes. Transmission, suspension alignment, tires, stiff it is, and all this other s complicated stuff. And you could also control the um, turbo. I'm gonna show what, what I mean by that because, you know, it's hard to explain. Oh, yeah, and they do have turbo sounds, by the way. I didn't say that earlier so yeah so I'm gonna show that off listen And there you go, turbo sounds. But yeah, the turbo actually does quite a bit. When I say a quite a bit, I mean a lot. Like my top speed normally, I probably wanna like I would probably wanna reach top speed by the wall. But right now, I'm really close to top speed. And normally top speed with the turbo would be about 110, 115, 120. I think you guys might just get a fire. Yeah. Ta-da. And that roll cage is functional, by the way. Everything does work how it should. And that's what you would see from the car. Um. <laughs> but uh, ignore the pedals floating above the car. Um. But yeah, it's a fairly 
fun game. And I'm sorry for the um little black window around the thing, around this whole set right here. But that is because my window is not set to the actual resolution of my computer. Which is actually I can change. But I do get some frame drop. No, I don't. Hmm. Oh, yes, I do. I get some frame drop. Drop down to about 30. Yeah. And, like, going below 30 looks pretty bad for y'all. I know. Because I'm recording this at 30 frames. 720p. And if YouTube encoding ruins this video, I'm sorry. But, you know, kinda have to. Okay. Your brother's off. Get off! Okay, your brother's not off. But the truck is off. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Get off! That was one sturdy door. Uh. But, uh, yeah. Um, there's one more thing I need to show y'all before I go. Because I keep forgetting things. And that is what makes this whole game work. And that is the J-beam structure of, well... Everything. And everything does have its own structure. You'll see what I mean by that. I am in, gra in fact grabbing parts of the vehicle. Part of its structure. Thing that makes the vehicle, you know, destructible. And yes, even the wheels have J-beam structures. Yeah. That's what makes them so realistic. But, um... That's where I put on the parking brake. Hold up. That was not what I wanted to do. Yo! There we go. Come on! Yeah! But yeah, as you can see, the J-beam is moving with the vehicle, along with the damage. So yeah, this is what makes the game work. So yeah, this, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, I don't want, ah, uh, that's what I didn't want to show you. That, that, I don't understand that thing. Like, it's supposed to tell you everything that can break, but I'm not going to show you that because that's just a lot. It just piles on top of each other. So, um, yeah, this has been fun. It's not as fun as, um, actually playing it showing y'all what it is but i will do a video of me playing it and i am constantly broadcasting on steam i do not have a twitch sadly so y'all can't watch me on twitch even if y'all wanted to and um yeah like so, um, yeah. And I killed it. I, the engine's destroyed completely. So, um, it's pretty much all of BMG Drive. It's, it doesn't sound that fun, but whenever you actually play it, it's really fun. Because you actually get to mess 
with things. And it does come with a map editor, actually. I can show you that. If it will load, hold up. It takes a while. But yeah, this is the map editor. It's complicated. I don't even use it anymore. I stopped using it. The only thing I use it for is for, like, putting vehicles in place and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Now then, on for the future for this game, they are going to add, like, online multiplayer. Because I already have, um, you know, local multiplayer, so you could just have two people at the same keyboard playing. And, you know, it's fairly fun. I really like it. Um, I know for sure they're still going to be adding cars and vehicles and ways to crash them and things that make it more realistic and fun. Probably even improve the J-beams as well, which they constantly are doing with the new updates and everything. But you know, it's this game's been out for years, man. In the release, in the and it shows the release date. For this game being March 3rd, or 13th, of last year, that is. Well, in fact, this game's actually much older. So, um, yeah. Killed it. But there you go. Beam and G drive, everybody. So, um, check out the tech demo if you're interested. It's fun. Check out my Steam broadcasting. Every time I play a game, I'm broadcasting, literally. I don't say much because I'm busy playing the game. And if I do say some things, eh. And I do watch the chat, by the way. The chat is something I do actually pay attention to. So from time to time, you'll see me stop doing something, or lose control of the car. And that's just me checking out the Steam interface so I can look at the chat and probably even participate in it. So, um, yeah. Um, now there's some news about me, actually. I am working right now on trying to get the hacks files getting recording again. So we could do Sven co-op together. Now, it would be awkward because you wouldn't really be able to hear him unless he uses the um, Sven co-op actual, like, mic. Like, press the talk thing. And, um, I want to use, use Skype, and that is actually something I plan on using. But right now, I am don't have that set up and it probably won't really work so um if y'all have like any tips right now as to what like software I could use so I can actually use Skype and record and y'all could be able to hear him yeah just go ahead and tell me in the comments below um and um I'm actually gonna link y'all to YBR in the description so and he actually does have fun with his character I'm churning I'm churning he says when he says he's turning like he's turning he says he's churning like he's churning butter like I'm churning I don't know why but it's only with this game it's only with Beam NG Drive he says that. So, um, yeah. By the way, those rally lights don't work. I'm very sad. I'm sad they don't work. They should fix them, though. Oh, wow! Actually, the color of these lights are actually wider. They're not, like, yellow. Fresh headlights. Nice. But, um... Yeah. 
ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna try something that I have never tried before. Um, 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 front brakes. Yeah! Uh, and apply. Tires, the pressure used to go up. I got too much grip. Please don't pop. They did it. Oh, I can figure something out. Hold up. I'm trying to figure things out. Bear with me. God dang it. And the added in the compatibility for like the actual menu. So, um, yeah. And that really like throws me off because I'm not used to it. I am technically burning out. But I'm anyways, yeah. There's been shocking games playing BeamNG Drive. I will I will do more videos for this. And I know I promise more videos on Rocket League. I will do more videos on that. But until then I'll see you guys later. Um, check out the tech demo if you want to. But this game's actually much better than you think. Trust me. And the updates are like actual. Like they do happen like every few months or so. And sometimes they just have an update for a new version number. And then, the next day, they have the update for that previous version to fix problems that were made. To fix some bugs. So, um, yeah. So, I'll see you guys later. It's been fun. Really, it has. This game is fun, just by itself. So... I will see you guys later. This has been Shocking Games playing BeamNG Drive. I'll see you guys in the next video. And no, I'm not going to be doing three videos today. That's just too much stress. Too much. Because trust me, I messed up like five times. <laughs> messed up on intros. Turns out it was a recording. Like, the actual game. It would have been kind of funny. I didn't realize I wasn't recording until like probably like a minute later. Cracker, hold up. Nah. But um, yeah. Demon G drive, everybody. So, yeah. Check it out. I want to see where this game goes. So I will be recording this game a lot more often. Like I said earlier, I'm constantly on Steam when I do broadcast my games. Now, if I'm on Steam broadcasting and I'm not doing anything for like a while, I'm probably not on the computer. Because I have a life, people. I have friends. And also a PlayStation, so. But what about the X-Bone? Shut up, I don't care about the X-Bone. Alright. I'll see you guys later. Deuces.